Oh, by charging into the ground. Where am I? How to burn through mana potions. 101. Loco, it's to the left. To the left, to the left. Oh, I found a dragon. I found a dragon. It's in the middle of the field. It's 20 meters in front of me. Yeah, Magna, that's what I, that's actually what I was doing. Uh, let's go to her. <laughs> but I think it's that's a just... wild that's not a dragon. Wait, what is it? It's a wyvern. Oh. Well, I don't know. Bye, Tobin. Uh It's shooting fireballs. Yeah. Or something. There's a lot of actually aggro enemies. I have no idea what that sound was. There's like two wolves, an orc, dragon. I think they have brooms. Fly through the trees, guys. Killing things. He's fighting a wolf right now. I wanna get close while it's distracted. It's not distracted anymore. Okay, it's not coming towards me though. You guys see it? Right in front of me? Yeah, I see it. Alright, you guys ready? Oh, it's got six! This is a dragon! Oh, Jesus! Yes, we do. Make sure to keep your health up. Oh god. Wow, nice job, guys. Shiny. Wow! Probably gonna need this a lot. Yeah, dude, that's awesome. You wanna take that back to camp? I can take it back. Shall we go for the other dragon and then go back to camp? I got sure. it. What? Where's the other dragon? It's to the west of here, at the camp. Rip the dragon. I was like, that is a dragon. Hey, guy at the accent, where are you from? Silver. Sorry, what did you say? Someone's asking where you're from. I'm from the Netherlands. That's why my English is so bad. Netherlands is awesome. Oh, uh, guys, Silver, you just ran past a dragon. Oh my oh, god! Yeah. I see it. Oh, Jesus! Lobo, can you come over here? There's another dragon. This is not the dragon. Oh, it's stuck. I think it's stuck. I don't think it's stuck! Or not. It's not stuck! <laughs> it's not stuck! <laughs> this one has six scales. This 
like the other one. That was just a big kill. Is there friendly fire? No friendly fire. Bye, Angimora. Have a good one. Oh, okay, Chef. Sounds good. Nice. One to go. What was that? That was a dragon. That was... That was a dragon. Alright guys, Double so we are actually are really nice going well. to be re-giving yeah, away... Yeah, they give like 200 health, right? Re-raffling the uh, Citadel uh, giveaway. Yep, and for the same maps too, I just so have to do it So if you base. guys are so interested yeah, in playing, prepare crazy, yourselves. Actually. Prepare yourselves! Really, really make that dude. I, I really like it. It's helped me a ton already. It's not perfect, but it's pretty good. All right, guys. Uh, so we're gonna re-raffle the Citadel game giveaway. So if you guys would like to enter exclamation point fire space and number candy that you would like to use, good luck in the giveaway, guys. You can check your candy by typing an exclamation point candy. Good luck, guys. This game good. I was thinking about getting it. Um, it's actually you know pretty decent. I have to say. And here I'm we are. I'm pretty impressed by it. Um, like if you're comparing this to Dark and Light, I would say. Uh, I, pr I definitely prefer this one right now in its current stage of development. Alright. Ready? Stay out in the open, so it doesn't fly between the trees. Damn, the ang camera angles are... Let me go first person. Pain in the butt. Oh, hello, Booker. Hello. Hi. Come here. Are you going any better? Right. It's got about a third of its health left. I much prefer the ground pass ones. Yeah, I do too. Almost got it! Come yeah, on, we're getting close! I got bears. I think this oh, way I Jesus. suck. Nice. And that's the third dragon kill. You guys get the loot? Yeah, I got it. Hey, thanks, Abramil. Have a good one. Thank you so much. No, there's a uh, Carther. There are. There's no classes. You can actually do whatever you want. So, um, you can craft a staff, a wand, uh, melee weapons, and a gauntlet. And there are spells for each of these, and you're not restricted to what you want to do. But obviously, like, depending on how much points you have, there's a lot of things that you can spend your points on. So this is for building and stuff. Uh, there's taming, there's different potions you can make, better potions, uh, lots of stuff. So, just depends on what you want to do. I 
want the scam. The scam is my gam. <laughs> oh, uh, normalcy. Uh, if you follow the stream, you'll get 10 candy. Um, otherwise you get one candy every 15 minutes that you're watching the stream while it's live as a non-sub, two every 15 minutes as a sub. Uh, and if you're here while the stream is offline, you actually get, uh, one candy every hour when the stream is offline. Yeah, Compton, yeah, it is PvP. Are you guys able to build, like, uh, will you guys be able to build a roof? I'm not here. Uh, I'm here with two of those giants and one fire dragon in on the ground. Yeah, good luck with that. You're by yourself. <laughs> so yes, Natalia, I, I can comment about that now that I've been playing for a few hours. Um, let me go back to the base and I'll try to give a. Seeing as how to be able to build a roof, I'd have to be able to build everything else too. No, I cannot build a roof. Right. Oh, it's a spray. I was like, what? First person view is pretty cool. Yeah, it's very scary me. Does Dark and Light have first and third person? Can't remember. I don't think so. Alright. Welcome to the Looney Bin. Hey, Palo! Thank you so much for the sub! You are now officially a full-fledged loony. Thank you so much. Welcome to the bin. Why didn't I fly home? Because I'm getting low on, on mana pots, so I was like, whatever. It wasn't that far either. Not far from my voice cracking. Gotta deposit the important things. You guys, I just make things look easy. Is the creature AI poor? It's not, um, I, as you can tell, it's not, like, amazing. It's not horrible. So, okay, so... Let's compare this to Dark and Light. So both of these games came out on Early Access this week. Um, I'll say now that after playing both, we I the think... Night to say uh, I'm gonna turn off the soundboard for a second. So I will say that after playing both, okay, mouse, please. Okay, my mouse does not want to work. Really? My mouse is literally like possessed. <sighs> okay, there we go. Thanks, Philu. Alright, so let's compare- Okay, guys, um, I just found out that the XP gets hit when you kill the dragon together. Alright. <laughs> let's compare this. Let's compare Dark and Light to Citadel Forge with Fire. So both of these games came out on Early Access this week. Um, after playing both, I can say now that I think that Citadel Forge with Fire, in its current state, is, uh, the better game of the two. Uh, it feels a little bit further along. It definitely feels not as buggy and, like, for me, I got, like, kind of like, um, with Black, Dark, and Light, I got kind of like a, uh, arc, kind of wonky, everything is kind of, just kind of weird feeling when you play. Um... Uh, so this game feels a lot more solid and just feels like more things work. Um, comparing like the different characteristics of both games, so with Dark and Light, 
it is a survival game. This is not a survival game. There is no food, there's no um, thirst. You don't have to worry about keeping yourself like fed and everything. So if that kind of aspect of a game annoys you, uh, then dark and light will annoy you because it's like really dark and light is very much plays and feels like arc. Uh, so if you have any experience with that, then you'll know what that's like. Uh, so not a survival game. Um, there are, but I, I will say that like when you're walking around and exploring in this game, the creature AI, while not perfect, feels a ton better than Dark and Light right now. Um, they actually move and it just it, it just feels a lot better. Um, the combat feels pretty cool in this game too. So in this game, it's uh, you get four different, I guess, weapon types. You get stabs, gauntlets, wands, and uh, melee weapons. And depending on what you choose, then you know you you can unlock magic. This is the let's see. So this is the skilling system. So uh, both games have a lot of things that you can progress in and upgrade, which is cool. But that's definitely they both have that in common, where there's a lot of progression, which is nice. Um, this game doesn't have a tutorial to begin with, but it's actually a lot easier to pick up, I feel. Um, Dark and Light starts you off with some quests and stuff, which is nice, um, but it's still kind of like just not well done. Like it's, like it was a lot of bugs doing the quest and it was kind of just like a little confusing and like a lot of typos and whatever. So, um, trying to think of what else to compare. Um, Um, so you, so your uh, attribute system is the same, so when you level up, you have the same things that will be familiar in Dark and Light, where you have a carry capacity, your health, and stuff like that. Uh, you can upgrade all those. There's less things that you can upgrade a, a part of your character, like this is literally the only four things. Um, where you can put uh, point swords with your attributes. In Dark and Light, you have a lot more stuff. Um, you have like fortitude and... or uh, just, just, there's like more options. I can't remember what the options are, of course, but um, there are some some other options. Um, they both have a like a, a clan system, so you can group with friends. You can play PvP or PVE on both of them as well. Um, you can tame. They both have taming. Um, they have spells. I'm trying to think of. Other differences. For creature variety, it seems like Dark and Light, like you can see right off the bat what creatures they have, um, but I don't think they have like all of those that, th that they have listed at the moment. Um, he like here it feels like, it feels like the world is better populated and maybe that was just like happened to be like the server I was on or something, but it, it felt like after a few, like I even tried a few places and it felt like the distribution of like where things were was just kind of like, weird in Dark and Light, like, it was kind of dead in a lot of places where it feels, feels better distributed here. But yeah, so not to make this a long explanation, but I, I feel like uh, Citadel is currently uh, the better of the two games, and um, I think that Dark and Light has a lot of potential to, like, have a ton of content and put hundreds and thousands of hours like you could in Ark, or you still can in Ark, um, but it's kind of like... I would say it's like where Ark was when it first released, but more optimized. Um, but still like a lot of bugs and stuff like that. Uh, so, anyways, that's my comparison of the two, and uh, they both have good potential, but Citadel starts off strong. So that is my recommendation. And cut! Alright, we'll put that video on YouTube too, if you guys somehow missed some of that. Is there tanking slash healing? Uh, there are healing spells. There's no... The, this game doesn't have classes, so you can actually get like put points into whatever you want to learn. So like these spells are for whatever weapon you have. You don't have to have a certain weapon for these. Uh, the, this is let's see. This is a healing spell right here. They have a heal beam right here. You can actually like you can get those whatever you whatever weapon you use. No problem, Italia. I was making tea, so I missed half of that? Okay. <laughs> Alright, we'll put it on YouTube, no worries. I don't think these survival games are for solo players. 
Um, I think so. You could definitely play these games by yourself. You know, like some people p prefer that. Can you ride your teams? Yes. You can in both games you can make saddles and ride your teams. I don't know what like which animals and how many animals you can tame and ride in, in either one, but it is a possibility. You think it would be fun play playing solo? Um Yeah, I think it would be fun playing solo. There seems to be a fair bit of PvE and you know if you like these types of games, like survival type games, even though this isn't strictly survival, we like sandbox games. We are out of space. Um, if you've played any sandbox game by yourself, then Sorry, I, what I think you can definitely uh, play it by yourself. We are but out these games are always space. better with more people. Uh, right. There is no storyline or questing in this right now that I can tell. There's you, you, there's no quests that I've seen. When you play Dark and Light, you start off with a quest, and you have all these quests that you can complete. And a lot of, a lot of it's just like filler stuff. It's like, you know, find ten pieces of wood or find ten berries or something. So it's it's good because it's like, like I said, like I think that Dark and Light's a little bit more confusing at first. So the tutorial really does help. This game really has been very easy to pick up and learn. Will there be a storyline in the future? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I can answer that. <laughs> What's up, Starshrewd? So, Domo, I think that this game... Uh, for 20 bucks, I do think that this game... You could get your money's worth for 20 bucks. I think it is worth it. Right now. Um, sorry, I keep tabbing out by accident. He tame ride a dragon like Khaleesi? <laughs> Maybe. I'm not sure. I haven't tried it. I haven't gotten to that level. So the taming, you need to unlock some... There's some stuff that you need to unlock for the taming. So, let's see. So level 15, you unlock a soul binding scroll. Uh, it says, place a scroll into a tamed creature's storage to increase the loyalty time. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know how you actually do the taming. There's a saddle. Um, there's just one general saddle, not like one... Like, in Dark and Light, it's like... For each animal that you can ride, there's a specific saddle. There's only one here, so I don't know if that means you can ride any creature. <laughs> Just imagining someone riding like a blood orc or something, or like a skeleton, like what? Is it worth $70, please? Um, alright. But yeah, so, uh... What's up, Phineas? I did, I did. Thank you for asking. Alright, guys. Oh, the spell's at level 10? Well, almost unlocked my second uh, fast travel point. Oh, you can respec your character. Uh, where? My blinds? I don't see it. But yeah, anyways guys, that's gonna do it for me today guys. It is uh, 5.20. So it is my normal anytime, so I'm going to end the stream there. By the way, congrats to Sig Valdison for winning that giveaway. Sig, I will try my best to get that to you tonight so you can start playing. Um, oh, items tab. I don't know. It's somewhere. Yeah. Anyways. <laughs> Alright guys, that's gonna do it for me today, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out today, guys. Really appreciate it, guys. Thank you guys for the uh, 80k follows. That is crazy. Tell us this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill you, Tell us <laughs> Do you mean structures, tells us? <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's gonna do it for me today, guys. I'll be back tomorrow at 11. I don't know what we're doing tomorrow, actually. Uh, we probably will actually play more of this. I, th I feel like there's still a lot more that we can learn, and it's been fun, so we'll probably do more of this and maybe something else later in the day. We'll have to see. Um, but yeah, so 
I'll be back tomorrow, guys. 11 o'clock. Have a great Thursday night, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. It's been a really awesome stream. I've enjoyed it. I hope you guys have as well. Love your guys' faces. Good night, guys. I will see you guys tomorrow. Bam!